So hi everyone and today we have a small example of the adversarial attack. So wh what does it mean? So for example we have some neural network yeah and this ne network is trained for the classification example A of A and B of B. And attack is the following if we show to our network uh, like peaks which is uh, work l uh, look like of example A with a little bit difference uh, we can just uh, add small noise to the speaker or do something more clever and our network uh, can recognize uh, this image uh, which is uh, looks like for the A like uh, example of B I know it's a little bit complicated but I show it later w what do I mean so Today we have uh, uh, ResNet 50. I just uh, create th this one from the examples. So it's a basic block of ResNet, it's bottleneck of uh, ResNet. Then we have uh, the our network ResNet. And uh, this, mo uh, this network is uh, pre-trained for the recognize, uh, for the recognize uh, images on the big da data set so here we just load our uh, ResNet network and then we just upload uh, the uh, pre-trained weight and I show you how our network is look like and just yeah you see it's uh, like uh, the architecture of this network is like a classical ResNet and the output of our network is uh, so this is bunch of the embeddings like uh, so normally this embeddings uh, go to the activation function uh, for the cl classification yeah. yeah so and our network uh, just uh, output a bunch of the embeddings uh, so what I'm doing next uh, we will have a bunch of images and um, our goal is the following to we have uh, two pic pictures like mm, not two pictures we have just a set of the pictures so oh, okay I explain you uh, so we will use uh, uh, the measurement SSIM, uh, uh, this kind of me measurement, measure uh, how the two pictures is different from each other. I found the GitHub repository with this matrix uh, realized you see at the PyTorch SSIM. Yeah. So I uh, import bunch of stuff and uh, then I have uh, the images in the folder images and the path of these images I have uh, the CSV file as you see I just uh, do a small simple uh, pre-processing of the image I uh, so our images so uh, 250 to the 250 th square images but uh, ResNet uh, used to uh, but our uh, ResNet uh, pre-trained for the different size it's um, 112 uh, you see so we do the central crop of the 224 and then we resize our image then we make tenders, tensor from our image and then we normalize it so and we just um, upload the the CSV file and I just to create uh, something like a CSV file with path and you see uh, we have a pair uh, like pairs source 1 so uh, source source uh, 2 3 4 5 it's uh, five different images and then target 1 2 3 4 5 we have uh, 10 images in a row and then I upload it uh, so I just uh, create two bunches of the source uh, source bunch and target bunch and then I do some small preparation stuff uh, so I uh, just read every image I uh, I 
need preprocessing uh, to this image and then I do unsqueeze because uh, because later we need uh, to a little bit a um, little bit uh, di different uh, dimensions for our models so we do it and and now I will show you what does it mean so you see that the source images is uh, on the bottom line it's uh, five women pictures uh, and the top uh, top top row yeah it's uh, five men images and our goal to just make the small modification of the source image one that our network will recognize it like uh, like uh, pictures from the from the target show from the targets role uh, then I create some helper function and uh, what does it mean the image preprocessing I show you so th this is the original image and uh, you see it's 250 over 250 and then we create the preprocessing uh, of this image we just do all this stuff and you see it's uh, kind of blurry and the size is uh, totally different it's uh, 112 you see the color is a little bit different but the resonator used to use uh, this kind of the preprocessing i mean i mean uh, the color one yeah you, s you see that the mean should be this uh, and the standard deviations of the different channel should be this like okay so what we do next uh, i just show you how the target image the original and the preprocessed it's not so much big difference but then I will do the following I just uh, ta uh, take whole images from the from the targets see you have the five images I uh, upload all five images all these five images I uh, I will create embedding uh, after the uh, using these five images to our net uh, yeah you see net uh, every image I uh, threw to our network pre-trained and we have a list uh, embe embedding list and then I create the average target embedding I just uh, divide by length of, of our images count in, in our case it's five so uh, then I create uh, just a s uh, list of the embedding source I just use it later and now I will show you the Euclidean distance uh, between uh, for example our source images and the average target embeddings and you see this uh, difference is really really close it's uh, more than one so it's mean that uh, these images is uh, uh, totally different then we will do our adversarial attack so before this uh, already eight minutes i show you how we pre-process data load data and do all unnecessary stuff but unfortunately it, it matters a lot so when I, when I create the um, two images, original and attacked, I do it uh, for the following purpose. I need to I need to find how these images uh, will difference uh, after the training. Yeah, and I just uh, show how the how the images is looks like. It's absolutely the same because attack and original is copy of the of the same images and the target images will be this one like this man uh, the target I mean so our uh, attacked images should be uh, closer uh, by the Euclidean distance to the target images so and we see that the Euclidean distance uh, no 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 it's a uh, SSIM so it's a difference between the original and attack uh, source it's a uh, 
one uh, so it's uh, mean that uh, this picture is uh, totally same it's absolutely same and uh, the Euclidean distance between uh, at attacked images uh, and the uh, and the ta and the average target and uh, so uh, here we uh, just see the Euclidean distance between the embeddings of the attacked uh, images and the average target em target embeddings and you see that it's uh, also a really huge distance it means the this one is uh, far away and then we uh, just do uh, our attacking uh, attacking uh, or training what I'm doing, I just uh, create a bunch, a bunch of the bunch of the elements. So this one is embedding part, and this one is image part. I just uh, create the embeddings uh, of the attacked images and the average embedding, and uh, and this one is image part. It's uh, attacked uh, attacked images and original images. I just do this one to uh, compare it uh, how uh, they similar or not. So I will use the normal. I will use the normal uh, um, Instagram uh, er error loss function and uh, so PyTorch SSIM. Uh, I will use like uh, like indicator uh, how our images is uh, similar or not. I will use uh, the normal Adam optimizer, and here the really important part. Important part. Uh, I will, uh, as you see, I uh, make the requirement gradient true, and I will change this uh, attacked picture. So uh, to the embedding of this attacked pictures should be the close uh, closer to the average embedding so it's mean so this one is a uh, core of of our attack and uh, i just uh, will s uh, will uh, will look on the loss uh, loss of of the images how our images uh, it's not loss it's a difference between the images i just ca call it loss because it's approximately uh, approximately the same in our case it's image loss but later we will uh, we will see how the images is different it's so i use uh, the loss function uh, between the one embedding and the two and the second embedding uh, you see this uh, em em embedding of the attacked images and uh, of the target embeddings okay and then I will uh, print out the image difference, but I back propagate. Uh, you see only the error uh, which create embeddings only. It's uh, you, uh, you see it's a uh, really really important. I back propagate not the loss of the image. Uh, I uh, back propagate only embedding parts, and then I do the gradient optimizer steps, and I will. You see, from the beginning, uh, our image uh, difference from one from the absolutely same images, n is decreased, and our model uh, trained. And you see at the finally, and the final, our Euclidean distance be uh, between uh, embedding of our attack images and average, it's uh, 0 0.46. And as we, as you remember, uh, where is it? Yeah. Every so and we will start more than once. So it's mean that our images, uh, so too close to that, uh, to the target images. And uh, the similarity of our images is uh, 91 percent. So it's mean the images is totally, totally close. So you see, it uh, looks like the original image, but uh, from the point of our network, it's a total 
different image because you see the Euclidean distance is uh, change uh, huge more than uh, more than half and if we compare the original image and uh, and attacked you see uh, so this one the original and this one is attacked it's uh, uh, really really close uh, from the human eyes but from the uh, network eyes it's uh, different images and uh, probably if we use these images like input in our neural networks uh, these uh, these images should be uh, will be recognized like uh, target images like like this so uh, you know it's uh, really re really important for the model robustness so thank you very much for the looking uh, this long long video it's already 60 minutes See you soon, and uh, I I will uh, upload uh, this example to my GitHub, and all the links uh, will be in the description of this video. Also, the papers uh, which is understand what's adversarial attack, and here I use uh, the simplest uh, the simplest variants. See you soon. Bye.